Welcome everybody to Exploring with Cindy and Dan. Today we are in the Redwood National Park in Northern California. We will show you the Trees of Mystery attraction, the Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park, and a tour through tree, the newest, most popular drive through coast Redwood tree. Join us in this adventure. This is the Trees of Mystery. It is located in the center of the Redwood National and State Park, and it opened in 1946. It features an aerial redwood canopy trail, the Sky Trail gondola ride, redwood trees as old as 2,000 years old, a gift shop, and there is also a motel across the street of the park with a restaurant. This is the elephant tree. The overextended root system of this tree shows how redwoods manage to hang on to life despite changing terrain and levels of the soil. Here you may see one of the most interesting, unusual and remarkable creations of nature to be found any place in the entire world. Here before you is a true record of past centuries. And this fallen redwood is still sound after 3,000 years. It is 320 feet long. All of the trees you see growing over it are actually grafted together by nature. This is called a cathedral tree, and it is a group of nine trees growing together as one. It is approximately 800 to 1,000 years old. This is called the brotherhood tree, and it is one of the largest living things in the world. It is over 2,000 years old, and approximately 19 feet in diameter, and 60 feet in circumference, and 297 feet tall. It is just amazing to stand next to this massive tree. This tree is a mighty sequoia or a coast redwood. This is Paul Bunyan's favorite trail. There is a big monument at the entrance of the park, and it is Paul Bunyan with his pal Babe, the blue ox. He is the ambassador of the Trees of Mystery Park. This is the Redwood Canopy Trail, an exciting experience. You will walk the aerial netted suspension bridges admiring all the redwood trees. There is a viewing platform in the middle of the aerial trail from 50 to 100 feet high in the trees. There are also nine more platforms, and two of which are connected by a very pretty spiral staircase, and eight suspension bridges that allow subtle movement along with the trees and the wind. We felt very safe while walking through the bridges. These bridges are suspended between several platforms at different levels, and all of the decks are fully railed and netted. 
the entrance of the trail and the exit have fixed position stairs anchored to platforms. This is one of the newest attractions at the Trees of Mystery. And also, please remember that before experiencing this attraction, read the rules and requirements for this aerial trail. There are three types of redwoods. The sequoia from coastal California and Oregon, the sequoia dendron from California, Sierra Nevada, and the meta sequoia in China. Today, we are viewing the redwood in the coastal California, and they are the tallest trees on Earth. They can grow to 300 feet high or more as compared to the tallest pine tree at 268 feet. The redwoods create the strength to withstand powerful winds and floods by extending the roots outwards, up to 100 feet wide from their trunk. These trees are fire resilient because they consume so much water. The earliest redwood showed up on Earth shortly after the dinosaurs, and they live for thousands of years as we get to see some old redwoods in this video. This is the Sky Trail, another amazing experience that you don't want to miss. This is a six-passenger gondola that you will ride through the Redwood Forest. This is one of the most exciting attractions of the entire Trees of Mystery Park. It is nearly one-third mile journey through the forest tree tops. This is a unique experience where you get a different view and a downward perspective from the tops of the Redwood trees that measure hundreds of feet in height. Once you get to the end of the ride, you will find a large observation deck that offers an spectacular view of the Klamath Back Country to the east and stunning views over Hidden Beach and the Pacific Ocean to the west. If you don't want to take the gondola down the forest again, you can hike down the wilderness trail of the park. On this trail you will see the coastal redwood or sequoia, Sitka spruce and Douglas fern along other types of trees. Before we left the park, we walked through the gift shop and we noticed they had different carved ornaments and we bought one of these little trees. Entire ecosystems can live within redwood branches high off the ground. Hundreds of plants, including fern, moss, huckleberries, and even other full-sized trees have been found living in the canopies of the redwoods. The redwood forests of the Santa Cruz Mountains are near the end of the largest temperate rainforest in the world, which stretches up the North Pacific coast and supports hundreds of species of wildlife. As we were driving through the Redwood area, we pulled off on the side of the road so we could go and walk on a trail through the Redwoods. Seeing the Redwood trees once again up close is an amazing sight. After our hike, we drove to the Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park to the area where they filmed part of the Star Wars Return of the Jedi. We talked to the Forest Service Information Desk and we were told that we were in the area. However, the exact area where the Return of the Jedi was filmed was privately owned and we were not allowed to go on their land. This is the Tour Through Tree. It is an attraction tree located in Klamath Glen Road in the city of Klamath in Northern California. This is the newest and second most popular 
of the three drive through coast redwood trees. Over 60,000 vehicles visit the tree each year. As you can see in the pictures, we can drive our car through the tree. Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. Thank you.